hi guys so you might have noticed I really like Christmas I have some Christmas decorations up I have my little advent candles so I'm gonna light one of these for each Sunday before Christmas at the time you're seeing this video one of the Sundays will already have passed and I will have lit up one of the candles so yeah I like Christmas it's no secret but because of corona a lot of the things that I love about Christmas are not gonna be happening this year like for example here in Germany we always do Christmas markets you might know those you go around you eat some food you drink some things you can buy some handmade stuff and I love them they're cute they're adorable they're so much fun, they're nice and cozy because you're cold but then you drink hot drinks and so I'm thinking what can I do to get myself more into that Christmas spirit? Why not recreate my favorite things from the Christmas markets at home? I'm gonna be making a ton of things that I like and then I'm gonna be trying all of them. Just a little disclaimer at the beginning, this video will include a little bit of alcohol, I will be drinking a bit, so if you're uncomfortable watching that feel free to lock out, watch any of the other videos on my channel um but if not continue welcome maybe you can grab a beverage of yourself uh, whether it be alcoholic or not so if you guys want to see me try all the things i'm going to be making stick around to the end of this video hello and welcome back to my kitchen from a little bit of different viewpoint this time because as you can see it's literally dark outside and it's 6 30. this is the only way i have kind of okay light but like it's still not good and you're inside a cabinet <laughs> um, we're gonna try our very best this video is actually filmed in advance to all of the other clips because um, I don't have time to film all of them <laughs> at the same time so yeah but please do appreciate it's so cute today we're gonna be making some liquor and it's gonna be speculatius liquor which i think translates to speculus they kind of look like this they're a little bit spicy cinnamony so good and we're gonna be making some liquor out of them and yeah let's get started the light is not good we're gonna start with 100 grams of these which should be about 10 cookies and we also need 30 grams of brown sugar a teaspoon of cinnamon and a teaspoon of cocoa powder now we're supposed to blend this up okay well i have like this i have like one or two kind of big pieces still in there but i'm kind of afraid to keep blending them because i'm afraid i'm gonna burn the blender but at the very end they are asking us to uh, stick blend the whole thing so i'm just gonna stick blend at the very end Hope for the best. It tells us to put 200 milliliters of cream and 200 milliliters of milk into a pot and bring it to a boil. Okay, welcome to my stovetop. I put in the milk and the cream. I'm not going to show you because I'm going to spill everything, but we're going to bring this to a boil while continuously mixing. Okay, I think the milk is hot enough. Now we're going to take it off the heat, add the rum. I put this into the cream thing because I don't have me measuring jugs. been talking to like the camera not on for the past five minutes anyway I filled it into this bottle and then it says to immediately close it which I did it's still a little bit warm but it should keep about one month in the fridge and then I'll see you guys for the next clips where I'm gonna be making more of these great drinks and foods and everything and then I'm gonna be trying it. Okay, so welcome back to my kitchen. This time I remembered to put my apron on. We are gonna be making some cookies. These are called vanilla kipfel. They're supposed to look like this when I'm done. You will see. Um, so this is a fridge dough. I got this from Aldi. Um, and I put it out of the fridge so it could soften a little bit. The first thing we're gonna do is knead the dough and then cut little rolls, cut little tiny pieces and then make the 
moons. That's about it. I'm not going to be making the dough myself, but there's no shame in that. So I formed all of them. I'm going to put them in the oven at 190 degrees Celsius for about 8 to 9 minutes. So these are all of them. Um, they hopefully won't spread in the oven. I've never had them spread before, but then I normally make the dough myself. So we'll see. If they do, that's okay. Um, what we need to do now is we need to get some powdered sugar and some vanilla sugar, which is just sugar that's been mixed together with a vanilla bean and that makes vanilla sugar. And then when they come out of the oven, we're gonna dust them with that. Okay, I think my kip are done, so I'm gonna take them out of the oven now. But we're gonna take the powdered sugar and dump the kip in there. Okay, here they are. They might not be the prettiest thing, but um, yeah, I hope they taste good. I am actually not gonna taste them now. I'm gonna taste them either tonight or tomorrow depending on when I manage to film the rest of this video but these are all done so today is gonna be the day where I try all of the things I made I'm gonna be making some more drinks for myself this evening it's like I think 12 30 or something so I don't want to really start drinking yet but uh, like I said to get myself in the mood I uh, worked on some Christmas cards the last two years I didn't give anyone presents so this year I'm going overboard with the Christmas cards so I made some these three are not quite done yet and I need to make some more but yeah that's what I've been up to this morning I woke up really early and I didn't know what to do so yeah I did this <laughs> and I thought I'd turn you guys around again and tonight I'm actually gonna be skyping with some of my friends so I won't be drinking by myself um, yeah have some candles lit up and everything it's gonna be a great day um, like I said a big part of the Christmas markets for me is the handmade stuff these are gonna be Christmas socks for myself they're, they're gonna be some color work which I've never done before so that's really cool and then I'm also working on some socks for a friend of mine because she wished for some for Christmas. So I'm watching Netflix and working on those right now. But we're actually gonna go and make our first beverage. It's gonna be non-alcoholic but warm and very cozy. Okay, welcome back to the kitchen. I actually have the dishwasher running right now because I have no dishes. So I'm very sorry for the sound. But we're gonna need some apple juice and a mug. How cute is this mug? We're gonna fill this mug with apple juice. Now we have this fire roasted cinnamon apple spices. It's um, basically apple cider. So we're gonna add a little bit of this. And now we're gonna plop this in the microwave. And then it's done. <laughs> Very easy. Okay, so my drink is nice and hot. So we go back over to the room and taste it. It might be a tiny bit too warm, but very excited. This is the first time I'm having this in two years. All right, so this is delicious. It's really bringing me back to Christmas markets and strolling down a cold street uh, with a hot drink in your hand. All right, so it's getting really dark outside and that's why I look crazy. I'm getting hungry, so it's time to make some of my favorite Christmas market food. Um, some people associate like mushrooms and stuff. I hate mushrooms. So I don't really associate mushrooms with Christmas markets. What I think of is garlic baguettes. Like every time I go, I'm like, I need a garlic baguette. And I walk over the Christmas market and I'm like, it smells so good. And yeah, so we're going to be making that. It's going to be like cheesy and garlicky and it's going to be great. Um, but before we get that started, we're going to make a little drink. I got a new mug ready. <laughs> we're really going through my mugs today. It's going to be hot chocolate mixed with amaretto, which is Italian liquor. But yeah, it tastes like almonds. It's really good in coffee or hot chocolate. And yeah, so we're going to make a drink and then we'll get started on the food. Alright, my drink is all ready. I even put some marshmallows on top. It's so good. It's delicious. While you guys were in here, I cut open my baguettes. I like Giabatta, so they're like Italian baguettes. But now onto the mixture. Okay, so I have a bowl here and I'm gonna add some creme fraiche. Next, we're gonna add some mayonnaise. 
and some parmesan cheese and some garlic. Now our mixture is ready to go on. Okay, we're gonna put these in the oven. Here they are. I think they're gonna take like 10 minutes, but I don't know. Okay, but while that is in the oven, I think it's time to try the liquor we made. So I don't have shock glasses. This looks massive. It's not as big as it looks, I promise. I feel like it did thicken up a little bit in the fridge, but we'll see. It's really good. I think for next time I would have pureed it a little bit longer and then also added a little bit more milk, but it tastes really good. Definite thumbs up from me. All right, we're back in my room. I got my baguette. I'm so excited to try it out. It looks delicious. It smells delicious. So let's see. Alright, that was delicious. But we gotta have our dessert. Can't forget about that. Here we go. My cookies are kind of overbaked. But no one needs to know that. Alright, so one more thing I usually think of when thinking of Christmas markets is also mulled wine. But I think I'm done for the night. I don't want to keep mixing any drinks anymore. So just imagine I'm drinking mulled wine. So since I'm going to be done for the night, thank you guys so much for watching, for hanging out with me tonight. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. I know it was a little bit different. I hope it wasn't too all over the place. I'll see you next week i have at least one more video going up then i might go on christmas break but i'll let you know in that video so if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up leave a comment down below telling me what your favorite christmas food or drink is and subscribe and check out my instagram if you want to be updated on all things i do bye bye have a magical day